Sean, if I want to know what reality is, I generally listen to the scientists, but the problem is, is that on both sides, there are very, very smart people. So one conclusion I come to is that the universe must be religiously ambiguous because if it were not, so many smart people w wouldn't believe in what they do. Well, I think the conclusion you should come to is that there's no consensus within the set of smart people. I absolutely yield to no one in saying that there's a lot of really smart people who believe in God, who are religious and take it very, very seriously. I just think they're wrong. They think I'm wrong, so someone has to be wrong. I don't think that it's the case that they can both be right at the same time. One of the things to keep in mind about the scientific method is that if there's something you want to believe is true, that number one has no bearing on whether it is true or not, but number sure. two should be, should imply that you give that hypothesis an extra hard time. Totally and you're agree. especially skeptical if you want something to be true. Absolutely. And oftentimes when you talk to very smart people who want to defend their belief in God or religion, if you dig deep, their arguments come down to expressions of desires rather than evidence being presented. Certainly the smartest people will claim that science cannot be used as proof of their belief. They're not using their, the, the science to prove their belief, but rather see it not inconsistent. There are some very smart theologians who still practice what is called natural theology, looking at the natural world and from that getting lessons about God. Well, lessons is different than trying well, to prove Evidence God. for believing it. Okay. Science never proves one thing or another. That's not right, what right. science does. It's right. not math or logic. Right. Science gives you good reasons to accept a certain hypothesis over another one. For the time being. <laughs> yeah, to always provisionally. But there are plenty of theologians who think that the evidence of the world presents them with good reasons to conclude just like a good scientist that naturalism is not sufficient to account for the world we see. That's a scientific conclusion. It's one that I don't agree with, Sure. but the logic is the same as the logic used to uh, establish any other scientific well, that, that's, that is a That is a group. I'm looking at a different group, perhaps a larger group, perhaps a group that's only defined mm -hmm. by my friends, and maybe that's a... No, it's certainly a, also true that many, many theologians want to call a truce and want to say that science is right and it does what it does, it describes how the natural world works, and that is not in conflict with my religious beliefs that would go beyond questions of how the world works. I think that it's actually intellectually not honest to claim that there is a division between questions of religious belief and questions of scientific theory. I personally don't like peace between science and religion only because it, it, it allows people to be comfortable. I don't like people to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. I like people to really conflict because truth is not a compromise. Truth will be found wherever it's going to be found and it's not for us to, to, to make nice. Again, some of my best friends and smartest people I know really have completely different views than I do, but as long as we can talk about them and try to understand where the other person is coming from, it's a good conversation to have. Does that mystify you that some of your best friends who you know are very smart, does that mystify you that they have that belief? I don't think it mystifies me. I mean, it's a true fact about the world. Um, uh, the human brain is not designed to do anything, certainly didn't even evolve to think rationally, right? That's not why it's here. We have all sorts of difficulties in thinking about the world as human beings. Thinking that God exists is, to me, a mistake that s many smart people make. There's a whole bunch of other mistakes that smart people make, and I'm always asking myself, I'm sure I'm making some mistakes, what are they? I've certainly tried very hard over many, many years to think as carefully and objectively as possible about the question about whether or not God exists. So I have a conviction about that question that my view is right, as convinced as I am about many other very solid things.